Anders, he's going to throw. Quick pass out into the flat. And the pass is, complot, is caught. And making the catch is Kevin Sanders. Jason Allman. In the first quarter, it's Golden, the Golden Bears 7 and the Rock 7. Here it is again. Kevin Moore just looking to one receiver. Frazier on the near side, and he just dropped it right in there. Good coverage there, actually, but the th ball was just thrown perfectly. And Frazier in this offense. Enders back in the shotgun formation. Enders again will hand off to Satterfield. Satterfield finds some room. He's going to have a first down. False start. Well, that's, this is going to take a little bit of adjustment period. In the tailback position to his left. Vogel takes the snap, looking, steps up, throws. The ball is tipped up in the air, almost intercepted. Long situation. Vogel from the shotgun, Slippery Rock showing blitz. Vogel back, he steps up, he throws, and the pass is incomplete. And it was intended. Alex Donolfi at the 35 yard line. Sanders was looking. One, Mike. First down and 10, play action pass. Vogel looking deep downfield. Dennis pass is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Josh Smith, and the pass intercepted. High short kick, Mastromato will call for the fair catch. And it's going to be a great kick. Wow. And it's going to be down at the one yard line again. So the Golden Bears for the second time. Vogel will take the snap. He rolls left. He steps up. He throws. Pass is complete to Josh Smith. And Smith is going to have a. Mastromato will go in motion. They fake the handoff to him. Vogel looking. He steps up. He throws. And the pass incomplete. Intended. Curtis Wortham is in at tailback. Vogel takes the snap, he throws. Pass is complete, and it is Colby in the slot to the right. Two wide receivers split wide left. Vogel looking, Vogel steps up, he throws. Pass is caught. For the Rock. Vogel from the shotgun, Wortham will go in motion. Play action pass. And he steps up and hits Troy Foster. Enders back, looking right. He steps up. He throws. Pass is complete to Gota. And Gota's going to get into the end zone for a first down conversion there. Five wide. Mastromato will go in motion again. They'll hand it to him. This time he comes to the right. Josh still going across the 25, moving the pile forward out all the way out. Point from this game being even. Incredible. Jack Ruggieri on to attempt the extra point to tie it up. Zach Snyder to hold. There's the snap. There's the kick. The kick is up. Top of your screen. Enders is going to throw. Looking. He steps up. He hits his man. That Zubik out of the backfield. Vogel looking. Pass to Mastromato. Again, a little bit behind him. Josh makes the catch to the 20 and brought down at the 16-yard line is where he's pushed out of bounds by Zach. Motto in at the tailback position with Vogel. Vogel takes a snap, looking, steps up. He's going to the back of the end zone, pass incomplete, intended for Colby. Vogel goes up under center, they hand off to Robbie Fry. Fry gets the first down inside the 10, and he's going to be brought down there, but the bear left. Five wide, Master Motto goes in motion. Low snap. Vogel does a great job of coming down with it. He's going to the end zone. Pass is caught. Touchdown! Eric Fr Enders back. Takes the snap. Looking. He steps up. Throws across the middle. Pass is caught. And making the reception again. And he recovers. It's an incomplete pass. And the Golden Bears get it with 38 seconds left. in kickoff returns. A large part of that is due to Mastromato, who is fourth in the country, averaging just under 32 yards per kickoff return. Cox will kick it away. This will be a short kick that will be... Frazier is going to go down at the 29-yard line. Yeah, Josh Smith was out there trying to spring Frazier loose. And it is a holding penalty called against Kutztown. Smith is incredulous down yeah. on the field. Coach Monica has his hat off also. 89. Holding number 89 offense. 
That penalty will be assessed half the distance to the goal. We'll repeat first down. Tried to get Frazier out there in space, and Josh Smith was using the, the block there to free him, and uh, the official on this side had him. Uh... Four wide receivers set. Grossi's going to throw. Pump fake, and the pass is batted down at the line of scrimmage. It was Brett Moss who got both hands up and swatted it away. Looks very familiar from the last... Uh, last series of the uh, slippery rock game take a look if you can't get to the court if you can't get to the quarterback get your hands up and knock it down and that's what brett moss did he got his hands up and knocked it down there he is right there over the golden bears and would get a chance to look at kennedy's touchdown look at 72 and the tackle over there the guard kicks out and it's just a walk into the end zone good blocking by the right tackle and the right guard there is the tailback Vogel will take the snap, he'll hand off to Fry. Fry, big hole, 45-40, still going, still on his feet. See you later, 10-5 touchdown. Robbie Fry and the Golden Bears are right back in it, 52 yards. Robbie Fry has come so close the past few weeks of breaking big runs, and just when they need it, the transfer from Connecticut gets the Golden Bears within an extra point of evening up this game, and. The defense turns it over the offense, and the offense cashes in. Ruggeri on to attempt the extra point, looking for number 62 on the season. The Fry touchdown. The offensive line was so good against Bloomsburg. That right side, Robbie Fry there gets hit a little bit, but does it keeps, keeps his balance and goes all the way for the quick six. And the evening... ball because it, a lot of the movement is just diversionary techniques and uh, you just have to have integrity uh, defensively to, to control this offense. Dominic Kroll will come to the near side. Again Anderson up under center. He's going to pitch it back and it's Watkins. Watkins finding some running room and Watkins going to pick up nine more. Just a simple sweep outside and it's going to bring up a second and one. Just the wing back coming around, just a straight pitch. As you mentioned, Mike, the simple wing T play off the wing T formation. And that's something that you have to, again, uh, maintain the uh, exterior and throw everything back to your flow. And this is the area of the field where Kutztown will give up yardage as we saw last week. Two wings, Jones is the tailback. Both wings yeah, go in motion and that's gonna be a penalty flag. That's okay in the Canadian Football League but not in the PSAC. Two guys going in motion there. Well, we will wait for the official call. And it's gonna bring up a second and six. Just getting underway here in the second quarter. No score in the football game. Morton will pitch it back to Fry. Fry to the left around the end, and he's going to get very close. He really fought hard. And he's going to be, looks like just a touch shy of the first down marker. Not had in the past with yeah. Fry and Mastromato. Third down, very short for Morton. Broken eye behind him. Morton will pitch it back to Robbie Fry. Fry picks his way through the line. He's going to have a first down. Still moving forward and gets inside the 30-yard line down to the 28th. Mike, I think this drive right here is just to establish some supremacy on the field. They just want to beat up the Wolves here a little bit. That offensive line getting helmet on helmet and getting down the field a little bit and getting control of this game the way that will open up the pass and just run the ball down the Wolves and see if they can uh, get control of this game a little bit. There's an injured Cheney player down on the field. That is number 21, Stan Banks, Jr. Bank Good speed by the wingbacks for Cheney, and that's been the key is they've been able to get outside of the contain of the Golden Bears, and that's where they've got their yardage. 
Not much up front, nothing passing, but the wing back coming across with that pitch, getting to the sideline and picking up yards. Second and three for the Wolves. This time Watkins will go in motion. They'll pitch it out to Watkins. Watkins will get up to the 19 yard line. Lead over the Cheney Wolves. Kutztown has it first down and 10 at the Cheney 11 yard line. Kevin Morton from the shotgun formation. Robbie Fry is the back standing immediately to his left. They're going to fake the handoff to Fry. Morton's going to keep it himself, and Morton is going to get into the end zone with an 11-yard touchdown run. And just like that, it's 13 to nothing. Well, that, that play was set up by the uh, play by Robbie Fry on the first play of the drive. They faked it that time to Fry. Cheney went that way, and Morton just walked in the end zone for the touchdown. Kutztown now up 13 to nothing. Ruggieri on to attempt the extra point off of the hold of Zach Snyder. Zyder got, Snyder got in the stat book last week, throwing a touchdown pass on the fake field goal. Ruggieri's kick is up, and Ruggieri's kick is good. Cheney didn't even try to come after that one. Second down and 12. Marked him back down at the 30-yard line. Two receivers to the near side. Anderson going to hand off to Jones. The ball's loose. Kutztown gets it. Is that turnover number three? Uh, was it Henny again that came up with it? Looks. We'll take a look at it. Billy McGonigal had to recover. Let's see what happened. It looked like Henny stripped him, though. Number 92, Colin Henny stripped him, and Billy McGonigal wears to pick up the fumble. Is that uh, Henny good penetration there just disrupted everything, and before Jones could get started, uh, the ball came loose. Another turnover there for the Wolves, and the Bears set up deep in Cheney territory. And another player down for Cheney. That is Marcus Jones. Jones has been kind of the workhorse for Cheney this afternoon. He's holding his left arm so not sure if it's a shoulder injury or he's he seems to be in a lot of pain right now yeah colin hit him pretty hard there as he was coming through there and uh fry had a couple of nice carries in that drive as well You can tell it's a hot day here tonight. Look at the line down by the Rita's Italian ice stand. Yeah. <laughs> Which actually is a pretty good vantage point to watch the game from, too, while you're standing in line. Great spot. You know, sometimes water ice would not be popular, you know, on the first or second day of fall, but this does not feel like fall right now. There's a good shot of the line there. If anybody wants to bring a few up. <laughs> So we're about.